Sons. Okay, let's go to the 52 Senators. So Bernie Sanders post, let's find post here. There it is. Okay, so Bernie Sanders post about two senators. He said two senators cannot be allowed to defeat the 48 senators and the 210 House members want what they want. We must stand in the working must stand with the working families of our country. We must combat climate change. We must delay passing the infrastructure bill until passing a strong reconciliation package. Now, there's a lot to unpack here with Mr. Bernie Sanders. Uh, as you know, I predicted on Wednesday that they would raise the debt limit. They did. Republicans, 15 of them fucking cave, including Mitch McConnell, which came out in front of a microphone and said, we're not going to cave. Well, they caved. Of course they did. And, 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 and Mr. Bernie Sanders is going to cave here. He's going to cave. The 210 members in the House, well... A few progressives in the House that have this stance that we must delay passing the infrastructure bill until we pass a strong reconciliation bill. So until until now he's he's giving away the game here in this tweet. He's giving away the game if you read between the lines in Washington speak here. What he's saying is is we want to delay the infrastructure bill. It's not going to get delayed, but we want to delay the infrastructure bill. It shouldn't be delayed, but we are going to delay the infrastructure bill to pass the reconciliation package, right? And he says, we until we pass a strong reconciliation bill, not the reconciliation bill, a strong. Because you got to remember, these, these people are saying, like Bernie Sanders is very careful in what he says. He doesn't just type out a tweet and send that motherfucker. He's not like me. I send out a ton of tweets that have fucking misspellings in them. They're missing words. They look like shit sometimes. I'm not Bernie Sanders is not me just fucking flying off the flying off the handle tweeting, right? He's going to be very careful with his fucking words here. Very fucking careful. And what Bernie Sanders is saying is there's going to be a compromise on the reconciliation bill and he is going to vote for it. That's what he's saying. And what he's saying is, when we find out what the two senators want to compromise, when we find that out, when we figure that out, what they're gonna con- what those two senators are going to compromise on the reconciliation bill, then we'll vote. We will vote on the reconciliation bill. But there is but he is admitting, admitting that he wants to delay the infrastructure bill, but there's no reason to other than to make sure they get a, a, a secured reconciliation bill that they can push through reconciliation. That the two senators who are who are holdouts, Cinema and Manchin, are holdouts. Of course, everyone gives him shit for not doing math. They say, uh, you know, uh, let's see here. Oh, let's see. Let's find some right-wingers here. Because they're the right-wingers. Uh, here, here. Here you go. Joe Cunningham here. Like, come on. Come on, goddammit. Joe Cunningham here. Uh, let's see. Who is it? As seen on radio. So he must be like a... Yeah, he's with the Red State. He's some kind of... My dude, it's 52 senators are defeating what 48 senators want. So he's saying, which is obvious, that there's 52 senators against the current reconciliation package, which is not completely true. Because... Kirsten Cinema, Kirsten, Kirsten, whatever her fucking name is, Cinema, and Manchin voted for this reconciliation package. They voted for it. Now, not for it, but for it to move to reconciliation. And they're starting to change their minds. Uh, the reason why they're starting to change their minds is because progressives are digging in their heels on the three and a half trillion dollars. And that's where this thing's going to fall. Because yesterday, yesterday, Joe Manchin sent a signal to Joe Biden and Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer that, hey, I'm willing to negotiate here. The Hyde Amendment needs to be in, which is fucking pointless. But it's all theatrics. Because you, there, it's a, it's a law. You cannot, you can't fucking use federal dollars to pay for abortions, which is dumb. But that's the fucking law. So it, the Hyde Amendment doesn't matter. That's all fucking theatrics. That's all bullshit. That's just, that's just so Republicans can say, well, it was an anti-abortion bill. <laughs> that, that's it. We made sure the federal money did not pay for abortions in that bill, which it's already a thing. So they, that's that's why they do that. So he, what Joe Manchin's trying to do is is cover his ass in West Virginia. 
It's always trying to do. Uh, Kristen Cinema is just acting like a moron, and the reason why Kristen Cinema, Kirsten, Kristen, whatever her fucking name, is acting like a fucking moron is because she can get primaried in Arizona, and she will lose her seat. And the most obvious evidence is Mark Kelly won in Arizona. And Joe Biden won in Arizona. And it's not because Arizona is blue. It's because Arizona doesn't have its head up Trump's ass. Okay? They don't They don't necessarily like Trumpism there. It's not a, a popular thing in Arizona. Trumpism is not a popular thing. It's an, it, The majority of people don't want it. They don't want that fucking bullshit. They don't want it there. That's why they're so fucking sick and tired of these Trumpers continuing this audit bullshit out there. They're fucking sick of it. Even the Republicans there are fucking sick of Trumpism. So Kirsten Cinema is is on the chopping block here in Arizona. So she's just trying to make a power play. It has nothing to do with politics to her. She and she she clearly does not understand how this is going to work. She's going to vote for this bill and so is Joe Manchin. He's going to vote for the bill. My guess is, and here's my prediction. I told you I'd make a prediction on this earlier. My guess is this bill ends up being between two and two and a half trillion dollars, the reconciliation package. The infrastructure package stays exactly the same. It's not going to change. Uh, they're not going to have to change the, recon- or the, the infrastructure package just because the infrastructure package is all but passed. The only thing that's going to change and, and has to change at this point is the reconciliation package. That's it. And they're going to throw in things. Kristen Sinema is going to bend on this because she is now in a position where she can't dictate anything. And the reason why is because she's just holding it up just to hold it up at this point, which is not a thing that is going to work in the long run. It's not going to work eventually. There's already a super PAC in Arizona that's gearing up to raise money to fucking primary her ass. Oh, but it do do. So they're giving Bernie Sanders here shit on the two senators things that 52 senators is more than 48 senators. Yeah, but it's 48 to 48, and they're they're working on the two of to, to where that negotiation is going to fall on the money. It's going to be the amount. The amount is going to be the thing. Now, why why Joe Manchin and Cinema think it's better to try to go out and sell a two trillion dollar package? to their constituents in re-election than a three and a half trillion dollar package. I have no idea. I think it's a really fucking boneheaded thing. It's really stupid. It, it, they're, they're playing short-term politics here. The long-term politics would tell you, hey, we got all this money for investment in West Virginia. We got all this money in investment in, in Arizona. And the higher that reconciliation package is, the more money they can claim went to West Virginia and went to Arizona and, and give some evidence for it. And the people will see it uh, because this the, the these infrastructure packages, uh, the roads and bridge package, the traditional infrastructure package is going to be fantastic for the American people. And the reason why is because we'll have some decent. I mean, I don't know if you guys have driven on the highways, but holy fuck, they're not that great. They're just not, especially in these red states. And <clears throat> because they're fucking they they're run by Republicans. Now, you, you, you look at the reconciliation package, and that has human in- infrastructure in it. Not only does it have health care, education, child care, uh, it's got uh, high-speed internet. I mean, there's a lot of components uh, to that reconciliation package that is going to help Americans. But it's not going to be $3.5 trillion. It's not. It's probably going to be between two and two and a half trillion dollars. That's where it's going to end up here. Uh, I believe that's what Nancy Pelosi is doing, and I think Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer uh, have this thing in the bag. That's why they haven't quite voted on it yet because they're trying to get in a position where they can vote, vote, vote. It goes to Biden's desk. It goes to reconciliation process. It goes to Biden's desk. It's done. It's done. They don't want to vote and have it turned down and have to revote. They don't want to have to have Manchin and Cinema re-vote on this thing. And nor do Cinema and Manchin want to have to vote more than once on this thing. They want to vote once, get it over with, and get it through. Now, as far as the progressives in the Senate and the House, they're making it they're making it virtually impossible for anyone to negotiate. Because it was it was no, we can't risk passing the infrastructure bill because they won't do the reconciliation package because how they fucked us on fifteen dollar minimum wage. And I understand that. I understand that progressives in this country are pissed off that 
the $15 minimum wage was promised and it was pulled and it got voted and the progressives got fucked on the $15 minimum wage. And they feel like they're going to get fucked on this reconciliation package. But here's the thing. All the members, uh, they have, a, they have a, a solid vote in the House. A pretty solid vote. They got a few they got to get. They're going to get Republicans on this thing. There is no way that they're not going to get Republicans in the House. To There's going to be a handful of them because they're going to want to say, I did that. I gave that money to you. They're, it's going to happen. But Kevin McCarthy isn't going to release those Republicans to even say they're going to vote on this thing until Nancy Pelosi has her whip count. You got it? They have to have the whip count to pass the bill before the Republicans can be released to vote for it. They're going to vote on it rather no matter what Cinema and Manchin work out on the number that they want for reconciliation to get the vote in the Senate. How How is it that that people in this country can understand how government works? This is how it works. We're watching it. We're watching it work. And people are really upset. Uh, either at Mansion and Cinema, which that's really where, that's really where the uh, uh, electoral uh, punishment should be is towards, especially towards Cinema. Uh, Mansion's going to vote for this thing. There's no way Mansion's not going to vote for this thing. He's going to vote yes on this thing. He's going to. Cinema uh, is the one who's who's. Not only is she acting like a fool, she's not giving any reason why she's acting like a fool. Like there's nothing she's saying. I mean, at least Joe Manchin is actually negotiating, even in the public in front of her microphone at press gaggles. He's talking about height amendments and and the amount that he's willing to settle for. Right? So, uh, Bernie Sanders, though, tweeting this. uh, I'm not saying he's wrong, because Bernie Sanders isn't wrong here. Uh, I actually, actually, I'm glad Bernie Sanders tweeted this. And again, the reason why is because it really, it's a a really strong tell of what's going to happen here. Um, I take Bernie Sanders f- fucking very seriously. Bernie Sanders is a serious fucking person. He's not an unserious fucking person. Uh, Kristen Cinema is an unserious fucking person. And Bernie Sanders in this tweet is actually projecting and telling you what he sees is going to happen. Um, and Bernie Sanders is no schlub in the Senate. He's He's been around the House and the fucking Senate, and he's been in the United States Congress and in the United States government long enough to know the process here and how this is going to fall. And he's telling you in this tweet what is going to happen. That's what I see this tweet saying. This is not hyperbole. He is telling you what the fuck he's going to happen by the words that he's saying in this tweet. Now, there's other things that give me evidence of what I'm saying, but... I think that the the reconciliation bill is going to end up being two, two and a half trillion. Now, my opinion is these progressives need to get off their ass and just pass the infrastructure bill and work on the reconciliation package in the meantime. If if you give if you give Cinema and Mansion a win on the infrastructure bill, it might bring them to the table to the two, two and a half trillion where they're going to fall. Because again, Cinema is going to vote for this thing. She has no reason not to. She has not given any reason not to. She would be stupid not to. Because she will be fucking primaried if she does not. If she fucks this. She is going to, if she's the one. Because Joe Manchin, whatever whatever reconciliation bill that Nancy Pelosi gets back to the Senate, Joe Manchin will vote for it. You hear me? If Nancy Pelosi votes on a bill on the House floor, it will pass. And that bill will be voted on. By Joe Manchin. He will vote for that bill. Whatever the fuck it is. That's what Nancy Pelosi is going to do. That's what Chuck Schumer is going to do. The wild card here, because she has no fucking unearthly reason to vote or not vote for this thing, and she cannot she cannot figure out a reason to, or what she wants, because she's not She's not a seasoned politician here. She's not a seasoned United States senator. She thinks just because she has the power to stall something, she thinks that she can increase her power. Which you're you're spending your capital is what you're doing. You're spending your political capital on this. Not increasing your fucking power. Not in not advancing your cause. You're spending your capital. If you really wanted to advance your cause, you would say out loud what you want. And if the bill moved in that direction, then that would give you power. 
That would prove that you have power over the other senators. That would prove that you have power over the other lawmakers if the bill moved in the direction you wanted it to. But there's no direction to move in. That's why Joe Manchin actually has power here because he's saying what he wants the bill to move to and the bill is going to move that direction because progressives do not want this to fail. No matter how much they want or how much they don't want, as far as the amount, whether it's three and a half trillion, three trillion, two and a half trillion, whatever the number ends up being, I actually believe it's going to be between two and two and a half million. And the reason why I think that is because Joe Manchin said one and a half million. And he's going to come up from that number, just like Democrats and progressives should have known that the three and a half trillion number, if 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 Joe Manchin would have balked at this in the last moments, that they were going to have to cut some of this. But let me tell you something, progressives. Two, two and a half trillion is two and a half, two or two and a half trillion. A hundred percent of two trillion, if that's what it ends up being, which I think it's, again, going to be between two and two and a half. A hundred percent of two and a half trillion is a hundred percent of two and a half trillion. Zero percent of three and a half trillion is nothing. You got it? That's the one reason why people are frustrated with you dumb fucking progressives in this country is because you keep projecting an all or nothing an all or nothing policy and that is not what the American people want. With the guy here on the screen Bernie Sanders, they voted against the all or nothing strategy. Now, he is not tweeting an all or nothing strategy here. That's not what he's saying. Sort of now, he's projecting all or nothing when he says we must delay passing the infrastructure bill, right? Until we pass a strong reconciliation bill. But he's signaling here, hey, we need to change the reconciliation bill to get it in a situation where we can vote for both of these. He's trying to have it both ways. And they're, they're knocking him on the two senators thing. But the real, the real knock here, the real knock here is that the American people did not vote for all or nothing strategy. They nominated Joe Biden, who was the opposite in the primary of the all or nothing strategy, the policy strategy. That's why they voted for Joe Biden. I don't think everyone loved Joe Biden in the Democratic primary or the general election. But Joe Biden had a message of let's get some things done. Even if we don't get everything we want, let's get it done anyways. That was his message. Build back better. Not build back the way we want it 100%. <laughs> why, why can't you Fox understand this? And I'm with progressives. I, I think progressives play an important role to pull the policy to the left. But once you pull the policy to the left, you've done your fucking job. You've done your job on policy. You don't get to get 100% of what you want. That's why Joe Manchin is going to vote for this bill. Because Joe Manchin isn't going to get everything he wants. He knows that. He knows that. Now, Cinema is an idiot. She has no clue. She doesn't even know what she wants here. <laughs> that's why That's why if, if, if she doesn't get into a correct policy shape here, she's not going to be the senator of Arizona after her next election. She will probably be primaried. And that primary candidate will fucking win that race. More than likely. Because it doesn't have to be a progressive to, to beat cinema. It doesn't have to be a progressive. It doesn't have to be a liberal. It can be a moderate beat cinema. Just just by saying <clears throat> in the Democratic primary, hey, I'll actually do the things that you vote for me to do. I won't pretend and then not go do those things. That's all it'll And a record of that case to, to demolish her in a primary. And if she doesn't realize that at this point, she better get on the ball. And her staff better be yelling and screaming into her ear if they want jobs in Washington after after the election in 2024. Because she's got a while to go here. <clears throat> anywho, anywho, anywho's. So, um, I see uh, the reconciliation package coming in at about two, two and a half trillion dollars. I think uh, it, it could be done over the weekend. Uh, I doubt it. I think it'll be uh, sometime early next week is when they'll come up with it. <clears throat> uh, but I think it's going to come in at about uh, two, two and a half trillion dollars. That's where it's going to come in at. You're going to have Cinema and Manchin vote for it. Uh, you're going to have the progressives in the House vote for it because those votes are already being whipped 
for that. They're pretending that they're not being whipped because they don't want to go back on what they said, this all-or-nothing strategy, which is really fucking stupid. That's why Bernie Sanders is tweeting this out to keep the progressives. Again, he's tweeting this out when he says we must delay passing until... We must delay passing the infrastructure bill bill until he's trying to keep progressives in their corner. He's trying to keep them fighting, which it's waning. That's why he's tweeting this. It's waning because there are going to be progressives that are going to vote. Uh, the the Nancy Pelosi is going to whip the votes to get Kevin McCarthy to release the Republicans because there'll be a handful of Republicans vote for this thing. You'll see it. And then you'll have Manchin and Cinema release, and they'll vote for the to to move forward the reconciliation in the Senate on two two and a half trillion. It might be up to three. I might be wrong, but I think it's going to land between two two and a half. So, and the American people should take it. We sent you there to get something, not nothing, progressives. And Cinema and Manchin, we sent you there to get something for the American people. It's been a long goddamn time since the American people have gotten anything. I mean, the only thing that a, a, a small group of Americans got when Trump was in office was tax cuts for the 1%, for the richest fucking people in the country, and it fucked the rest of us. It's been a long goddamn time, long goddamn time coming that we need to get something. So, that's the 52 senator thing, because it has to do with the infrastructure bill. Well, I'm almost at an hour, so I'm about out of time. Uh, I, I apologize for not having the... The Twitter uh, feed correct. I don't know. Our, 